Hello everyone, my name is Paper Napkin, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. In the last episode, we went to the Crescent Lake, where we talked to a bunch of different sages, and they kind of told us a little bit about the backstory in terms of the orbs, and how in order to bring light back to them, we have to defeat the different fiends. We already took out the earth fiends, so we kind of had an idea of what was going on, but uh, we actually got the canoe, and they kind of pointed us in the direction of Gargu Volcano, which is where the fire fiend is waiting for us. So let's go and do that. And we're not actually going in through the bottom of the volcano, that would just be way too easy. We actually have to start from the top. And as you can see, there is lava in here, and yes, we do have to walk through it. And yes, it does do quite a bit of damage, which kind of adds up over time, so it's not a bad idea to bring a lot of heal potions. Uh, I kind of skipped that, but I should be okay. Uh, if you want to use cure charges along the way, do so, but keep in mind that there are some pretty tough enemies in here, uh, especially when you get to the bottom and you have to take on the Fire Fiend. If you don't have enough spell charges, you're going to have a really hard time. So it might actually be worthwhile to do one loop through to get all the treasure, and then another just to go straight to the boss and take it out. But we'll see. Uh, it depends on how well I do down here. Uh, this floor here is a bit of a maze. There's a lot of treasure to pick up, but you need to make sure you go the right way or else you're going to be doing a lot of backtracking. Hopefully I'll be able to avoid that if I can remember the proper way to go. And just like in the Earth Cave, most of the treasure in here is protected by an elemental monster. In this case, it's the Fire ele Elemental. They're a bit stronger, as you would expect, but there's nothing you really need to worry too much about. Just take it out as quickly as possible. It does decent damage, but really nothing to fret too much. Let's see, 40 against Alexa, which isn't too much. If it hits your fighter, it'll probably be like 10 to 20. And unlike the Earth Elementals, you can actually come across more than one fire elemental, so keep that in mind when getting your treasure. Uh, here we have a silver helmet, which is kind of unfortunate, considering we just went through Crescent Lake and they have all the silver equipment there. And it's a reasonable price, so at this point, if you don't have it, you really should probably have it. Uh, next up, we have a treasure chest here. If you go from the bottom, you can avoid a fight, but we have some gold, which is always a good thing. Uh, next up, we want to backtrack up here a little bit. Uh, I think this is the right way. Yep, yeah, okay, good. Uh, here we have two chests, one on the left, one on the right. Normally, I would say that the chest on the right is the way to go, because, you know, right is always right. But, actually, what you want to do is go to the left, because if you don't, you're going to have to go back and get it, or you skip it altogether. And it's actually a decent item, if I can remember correctly. But, uh, we don't have any wiggle room, so we're going to have to fight a monster. And our reward is... A giant sword, which is still slightly weaker than the silver sword, but again, you could probably sell it for a couple thousand gold, which is not too bad. So now we're just going to backtrack and go to the next chest. And it's actually worthwhile to pick up this treasure because while they're kind of sporadic now, later on you'll find that you'll start coming across huge clusters of them, and how can you pass up on a lot of treasure? Uh, next up, let's go from the top. Oh, nice. And 4,000 gold, which is a pretty decent chunk of gold. Now, normally when I'm playing through this game, at least back in the day, I would just kind of skip over all the treasure, which is probably not the best thing to do. Uh, I think next up we want to go down this path. Yes. And we have a new enemy, the Red Hydra. This is one of those really strong enemies I mentioned in the previous episode. They can use some pretty nasty fire spells, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to throw up anti-fire, especially if there's more than one of them. I'm gonna risk it here, hope I can take it out before, yeah, that's good. They don't have a lot of hit points, but they can do some pretty wicked damage, so two or more, use anti-fire. If it's just one, you can kind of wing it. And here we have two chests, and yet again, we have to fight another fire elemental. But our reward is, really, only 750 gold. Okay, maybe that's not worth it. Maybe this chest will be a little bit better. 795 gold, okay, well. Those two chests are pretty much useless, but we need to come this way anyways. If you come down here, and I don't know why, but we keep coming across the same enemies. Just ogres and wizard ogres. But down here, as you can take a look, whew, we have a buttload of treasure. And hopefully it's not guarded by every single tile being covered by a fire elemental. And first up, we have a silver gauntlet, which is nice, we can sell that. A silver helmet, which we can also sell. And a heal potion, which is always useful. A cabin, very nice. And some gold, and I'm guessing there's going to be an enemy here. 
Yeah, we do have a new enemy. We have a Grey Worm, which I was not expecting. I completely forgot about this guy. Uh, they can do some really crazy damage. Try to take it out as fast as possible. They don't have that much defense, except if you're using a White Mage. But yeah, take it out. Wow, 3 hits, 75. So scratch that. They do have some pretty good defense. Take it out as quick as possible, because that thing did some crazy damage to Alexa. And if that were to hit Hope or Pancake, I don't even want to think about that. Um, let's use a heal. Everyone can use a bit of hit points. 5 damage on paper, that's not too bad. But anyone else... Ugh. And yeah, there we go. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. And not that great experience or gold, but whatever. Uh, pure potion, pretty useful. Some more gold. More gold. Actually, this treasure is not that good, but uh, more gold. And a silver shield. Okay, that's not too bad. A silver axe. Okay. A lot of silver stuff here. And another heal potion. So, pretty worthwhile. A lot of items to sell. Some gold as well. A uh, heal potion if you desperately need it. But that's all the treasure on this floor. Now, you have to kind of backtrack all the way back to the entrance before you can get to the next floor. So I'm going to do that off screen just because it's going to save a little bit of time and really there's nothing else to see here. So I'll see you in 3, 2, 1. Now that we're back at the entrance, we want to head to the left to the next level. And unfortunately there is quite a bit of lava that we have to walk across. You can try your best to minimize the amount of time you spend on it, but really there's so much lava coming up that really it's not going to make that much of a difference. I mean, there are floors on here that you're just going to have to walk through a lot of lava. This one's actually not one of them. There is some lava, but uh, if you go to the right, you can actually kind of avoid all the stuff to the left. There's no treasure there, just a lot of lava that if you walk over and you kind of realize you don't have to walk over it, will make you pretty sad. But here we are at the next level, and this is a really, really annoying place to be because it's pretty much a lake of lava. There are a couple of places along the way that kind of have a stepping stone or a place to rest. Uh, pretty good idea to check your hit points every now and then to uh, look at your characters to see if they're about to die or not. And we have a new enemy. We have a, a, a gamma? It's almost like magma, but not really. Uh, these things you don't have to worry too much about, especially if there's only one or so. They don't have a lot of defense, so if you can take them out pretty quickly, you don't have to worry too much. Uh, they do have heat, which does a little bit of fire damage. Nothing to worry too much about. I wouldn't use anti-fire or anything like that, just because there are some enemies that will cast fire too, and spells like that. But uh, Hope's pretty low on hit points, so let's... Wow, that was a crazy experience! That was like 600, and like 1200 gold, so... If you see those, don't run away, fight them. And everyone gains a level, so that's, that's a nice bonus to top it off as well. But before pressing on, let's make sure to heal up a little bit. I guess I'll use a heal too. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, so let's head over here. And hopefully we're at the end. Yep, there's the staircase. This is another one of those rooms that's filled with a lot of lava and a lot of places to go that there really isn't a whole lot to do. So to kind of get past all that, what you want to do, you want to go down, left, down, left, and that'll take you right to the next level. So we'll do that now. Hopefully we won't take too much damage from the lava, just because it really is starting to pile up. And it kind of reminds me of that game that I played when I was younger. I don't know, I'm sure everyone's played this, but it's like, don't touch the lava. Where usually, you know, you can't touch the carpet, and you have to put, like, damn pillows or coasters, and you can only touch that. And you had to, like, run around the living room or whatever. Me and my friends, we used to play a, a variation on this called Turtle Tag, where we would play tag, essentially, but we were turtles and we couldn't, you know, survive out of water. So if we went on land, which was the lava, we would die. Now, this level has a lot of treasure on it too, so you want to make sure you pick it up because a lot of it's actually pretty worthwhile. Uh, here we have a soft potion, and in here we have some gold, which is always nice to have. Uh, I think next, yes, we want to go down here because it's our only option, and there should be something in here. There is, perfect. And we don't even have to fight a fire elemental, so that's a good start. More gold. Uh, at this point, you want to go to the top left as opposed to down below just because there's something really 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 worthwhile picking up and if you don't pick it up now you're definitely going to be hurting yourself in the future uh there's a lot of chests in here but mainly we're interested in one uh, not that one uh, there's a pure potion here let's take a look some gold 
And this is the one we want, the Ice Sword. This is an improvement over the Silver Sword, finally. And you want to make sure you give it to your fighter at this point, just because they'll be able to do the most damage out of it using it. Here we have a lot of gold, and lastly, we have a Flame Shield, which is also a pretty good upgrade for the fighter, so I'm going to equip that right now. And now we can head back and take the south route, which will take us closer to the end of this dungeon, which I don't know about you, but I'm really looking forward to, just because I'm really sick and tired of this lava flashing on my screen. But, uh, what can you do? And... We were here already? No, we weren't. There's 155 gold here, and 10 gold here, which is just completely useless. I don't even know why they bother putting that there. It's kind of like an insult. But uh, if you come over here, there should be something more worthwhile. Hopefully, at least. Three chests, so pretty good odds. Uh, first one's empty, so maybe not so much. 2,000 gold, and a house. So maybe better than 10 gold, but really... Nothing too extravagant at this point. But now, if we go down here... Just one last little stretch of lava, and probably should not be walking on it. Oh, there's... Oh, I completely forgot about this. Oh, yes! Now I remember. These two chests are guarded by a single... Agama? I think that's what it's called. And if you remember, that those gave pretty good experience points and pretty decent gold. So this is actually a really good place to kind of bounce back from tile to tile and get a lot of experience or gold really quickly. Uh, if you want to make your way all the way down here to do that, by all means feel free. Uh, I'm probably not going to just because dealing with all that lava is not fun. And the last chest down here is a wooden staff, which is... I don't even know why they put that there. I mean, it's just taking up an inventory spot and you can only sell it for like, so much gold. And just like that, we're at the bottom of Gurgu Volcano, which means we can go and take on the Fire Fiend. But before we do that, there's actually quite a few treasure chests in this floor here that we want to pick up, because there are some pretty good items. But I think we're going to leave that to the next episode, just because I feel like I'm running a little bit long on time. So until then, my name is Paper Napkin. Take it easy, folks.